We're beginning tonight with what is, for women with breast cancer, a matter of life and death. The FDA opened a hearing today to decide whether to end its approval of the drug Avastin as a treatment for advanced breast cancer. The drug costs nearly $100,000 a year, and there's serious doubt about how well it works. We asked Dr. John LaPook to introduce us to the people whose lives are in the balance. Liz Cleary and her husband Bob were newlyweds nine years ago when they got devastating news. Liz had breast cancer. And then, 18 months later, the chemotherapy stopped working. The cancer had metastasized to my lungs. You could make me cry right at this very moment just for thinking about how I felt at that moment. So, as a last-ditch effort, doctors decided to try Avastin, which kills cancer cells by choking off their blood supply. Cleary credits the drug with keeping her alive for the past five years. Within two and a half months of treatment, uh, scans showed no evidence of disease. So the five spots that were still in my lungs were gone. But according to the FDA, Liz Cleary is the exception, not the rule. The FDA had granted preliminary approval to use Avastin for advanced breast cancer in 2008. But last year, studies of almost 3,000 women showed the drug could cause life-threatening complications delayed tumor growth by only three months or less, and, on average, did not extend the lives of patients. So the FDA said it planned to withdraw approval. Left breast, though, does have a... Dr. Gary Lyman of Duke University was one of those on the FDA panel who voted to revoke approval. Faced with that yes or no uh, voting option and the data, which was quite discouraging, no survival improvement, no improvement in quality of life that was demonstrated, and the serious toxicities that have been reported, uh, I voted no. The FDA is not supposed to consider the cost of a drug. In this case, almost $100,000 a year. How much is the life of a woman with metastatic breast cancer worth? Liz Cleary's yeah. doctor, Stanley Weintraub, believes the FDA's decision is about the money. It would be embarrassing for the number one country in the world with the greatest health care system to deprive the women, with millions of women that have metastatic breast cancer, with the possibility of getting a fabulous drug. I ask that you not take Avastin away from those of us with metastatic disease. Today, Cleary was one of the patients pleading with the FDA to approve Avastin for breast cancer because otherwise insurance companies may not cover the cost. As far as future treatment goes, if the insurance companies decide they're not going to cover Avastin, um, my husband tells me we'll sell our house. But I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. The FDA Advisory Committee will vote tomorrow. The cancer community worries this controversy will make the FDA less likely to give preliminary approval to other expensive cancer drugs in the pipeline because it's so hard to take a drug away once patients are using it. Thanks, John.